Attention customers, you are not entitled. You are not special. I don't care what your mommy says. You don't deserve unfair treatment compared to everyone else who has to follow the fucking sales that are going on for the day. Hello, I'm Best at Games, and I've worked retail for way too long, and we're going to try a little something new and do a little commentary where I just discuss that, uh, you know, a certain topic about things that annoy the shit out of me in retail. And uh, today is this topic that I'd like to call that, I'd just like to call that you're not entitled, okay? So as a person who has worked for four different places now in the retailing industry and my current one which is a supermarket um, there are certain things <clears throat> that happen more so in certain places and less in others like in a supermarket there are very much less people that think that they're entitled to the goddamn world um, but if we go back to when I worked at Kohl's Oh man, the customers there think that they are so entitled. They think that they deserve everything for a dollar. Um, it doesn't matter what the what the price says. It doesn't matter what the sale was. It wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough for them. They wanted more. They wanted better. They had coupons. They had coupons that didn't work with other coupons. They had coupons on top of coupons on top of coupons to try and get the price as low as possible. And guess what? At the end of the day, when they called over a manager and had a little hissy fit at the fact that they couldn't have their coupons combined with other coupons, even though it says on the coupon, which people don't read the fucking things, the fine print anyway, people would watch, people would read those coupons and just be like, oh, it says there, they'll deal it for me. Because as soon as they had a little hissy fit and they said, oh, I want to speak to a manager, and then the manager comes over and they're like, all right, we'll give it to you this time. And then, you know, the customer would walk away with a silly little fucking grin on their face that you want to smack the fuck off of them because they act like a little fucking two-year-old to get their goddamn sale on their stupid clothes that they didn't fucking need. <sighs> oh, man, I have uh, so much resentment for that shit. And I worked in customer service where, you know, I had to take the returns of these people that already try and got the thing as low as fucking possible and then they wanted to return it because they didn't like it bitch why didn't you try it on in the fucking store <sighs> oh man you sit there and have a fucking hissy fit with a manager and I know this because I've seen people literally have a hissy fit with a manager while I was on register up in the front and they'd get their fucking sale. And then I'd see them two days later at customer service returning the same fucking thing that they had a hissy fit for. And it's like, really, did you have to go through all that trouble just to get your fucking sale and then return it to me? Like, come on. Get over yourself. You're not entitled. <sighs> Man. God, I can't, I can't stand shit like that. I really can't. Um, and, of course, just to let you in on a hot secret at Kohl's, um... The motto there is, yes, we can. So what that means is that without a manager's ability, the cashier is supposed to do pretty much anything for you within reason. Um, that means, oh, you thought it, an item came up on sale for twelve ninety nine, and they thought the sign said ten ninety nine. Instead of calling over a manager or going to check the price, they pretty much want you to give it to them. So they can make up fucking complete bullshit. And I'll give you an example. Um, this was something that I thought was unreasonable, but as a cashier who just started, um, there was a tablet. Now, Cole sells some kind of crappy electronics here and there, but uh, there was a tablet. And the tablet came up on sale for like a hundred and thirty dollars okay and it, it this thing is a piece of crap but whatever um so the thing come up on sale for a hundred and thirty dollars the guy come the guy looks at it and he's like oh i thought it was on sale for like 80 and i'm like uh no 
yeah, that, that can't be right. However, my manager was standing right over there, so I, you know, asked them, I'm like, so should I go check for this? Um, you want me to go look at the sign? And what she said to me at that time was, no, just give it to them. Because even if you go and find the correct sign, they're going to sit there and argue until they get the price that they want. Regardless, because it doesn't matter what the sign said, it's what they thought it said. So that guy walked out of there spending $50 less, all because he said, oh, I thought it was seventy nine ninety nine instead of, you know, just buying it for the price that it's supposed to be. So he saved $50. I'm sure he returned it in like a week, but at that point I wasn't in customer service, so I wouldn't know. But that that's just an example of how customers feel like they're so entitled to have everything that they want for the price that they want. And this came up again actually in my grocery store job just recently. I'm a bookkeeper there, so I have some sort of authority over something. Um, and a customer comes up to the office and they ask, oh, well, I see that the sign here says, like, the, the circular says that I have to buy two of these cream cheeses to get them for $4 because it's a must-buy two, okay? And she can read that. She's an old lady, but she can read that just fine. Great. Well, can I get one instead of two? No, ma'am. The circular says that you have to buy two. That's what's written there. That's what you have to do. So she starts saying, oh, well, a good businessman would just, you know, give it to people for the, the two dollars. Now, let me let me just interject here and just say, I'm not the owner of the fucking store. I don't decide the prices. I'm just there to facilitate your returns and count the cashiers out and, you know, make sure that everybody's doing their job. Um, that's all that I'm there for. I don't make the prices. But, of course, because I wouldn't give it to her, she wanted to speak to a manager. Oh, gee, it's back. It's like I'm back at Kohl's. Um, except this time, I'm not told by my managers and corporate to say, oh, just give it to them. This time, I'm told, oh, you know, it... That's what's in the circular. That's what you have to do. That's your job. Cool. I can actually say no to people now. That's great. But guess what? The manager's right there. The manager comes over because I called him over. And what does the manager do? Just gives it to them. So please explain to me why that there's even the thought that people have to follow the rules when the manager can just come over and just be like, oh, you know, don't worry about it, you can have it. Oh, and you want to get this. The woman, after I did that, and after she was walking away with the manager, she looked at me and said with a completely, like, shit-eating grin on her face, you could learn a lot from him. I had to bite my tongue because I wanted to lash out at her and just say, fuck you. And that's how I feel against most customers who act like they're entitled little pricks. So, in summary, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, guess what? If you act like you're entitled, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't think that you're any more special than anybody else who walks through those doors. And guess what? When it says two for four and you must buy two, buy fucking two. They're little goddamn cream cheeses. And it doesn't fucking matter that you buy two. Because if your fridge can't handle two of them in there, then you fucked up. Anyway. This has been Best of Games. See you later. Don't be an entitled customer.